Hello and welcome back, welcome back. This is part two of that little Sterling engine that I showed you in part one. And uh, if you missed that video, well I'll leave a link in down below and you can just maybe pop back and watch that, how I acquired this little Sterling engine. So now in part two, we're going to uh, try to get it running, bearing in mind the first owner couldn't get it running. So uh, see how we get on. I'm going to use some of this rubbing alcohol. And you know, um, I think a candle was used before, but I just don't think a candle flame can produce enough heat to kind of get this thing working. So we're going to give it a go with a little bit of this rubbing alcohol, that 70% alcohol in that solution. And uh, we'll heat it up and see how we get on. I don't know if it's going to run. I think I've constructed it correctly, but well, we're going to soon, uh, soon find out. Right, I'm going to fill the little thing off camera and then uh, we'll light it up and see how we get on. Right, we're all ready to go. This is uh, attempt one, of course, getting this thing to, uh, to start. But uh, without further ado, that's the uh, flame started there. warm up a little bit I don't know how long you have to leave this to warm up heat the air inside there alright let's give it a go whoa That is, that is really moving. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Jesus, that's moving. I've had to get an RPM gauge on it. That is really motoring. Look at that. Let's take the heat away. And it's still going and then it's suddenly it's going to slow down. <laughs> wow, that really that really had some RPM. That was pretty impressive actually. That's, you know, compared to a sort of normal steam engine, obviously there's no governor on it, there's no uh, throttle control. I'm going to take it off the tin. Um, now we know it runs. Because it was a little unstable. Let's heat it up again. Let's put it on the uh, that stroke there, and let's get some heat into the. That that was pretty impressive, and it started really easy as well. Right. Okay. We give it another go. Give it another little turn. And there it goes. Wow, look at that go. Hasn't got a lot of torque. If you put your finger on it, it does slow down pretty quick. But, uh, impressive stuff. All right. So the next thing is that we've got this um, flywheel here and uh, the little drive belt and a little generator and these two uh, wires. So I think what I should do now is we'll try and uh, get the little generator going and see what we can power. Maybe we get a lead across those wires and see if it'll power a lead. <laughs> oh, I'm like a little kid at Christmas. I'm pretty impressed with that. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've rather crudely just soldered in that lead that, that came with the inside the box with the kit, so I'm assuming that's the right one uh, for it, and that runs obviously that little motor there, just going to act as a generator. Now I've been having big problems trying to get this sort of alcohol burner to stay alight, the wick didn't seem very good, so what I've done, I've replaced that with a little bit of uh, kitchen towel, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to work, but so uh, anyways, hopefully we can get it going. So there goes the flame. Start 
almost. And there we go, look. Wow. <laughs> That's quite impressive. It's running a little bit slower on the lower flame, but I think that's a good thing. Hear the drive belt squeak. Let's pick it up now. And there we go, look at that. So there we go. That's uh, running like a good one, isn't it? I'm quite impressed with it, actually. So there you are. Something a bit different. Not a radio video, obviously. Hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoyed that. Look at this uh, little Sterling engine. Quite impressive, really. As I say, these can be, you can pick these up. I had a look on eBay. Uh, cheap ones, less than twenty pounds. Ones that are slightly better made, probably twenty-five to thirty-five pounds, something like that. It's something to play with, isn't it? Get your kids interested. Well, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I'll say cheers. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you out on the next one.